Hey, good afternoon, my gators. How are you? I got hope you guys are having an awesome day. This is the single mom versus the fixer upper on Haji Wine Saver Dime. So I just got back from the store. Um, I went to Menards, Walmart. I had to take some stuff back to Amazon, take something back to Walmart, and um, what else? What else? What else? I think that was it. An Audi. So everything you see here is from Audi except for the spray paint. I needed some spray paint to touch up some things in my house. So I got flat. I notice now they're saying Ultra Mate. And I'm like, okay, what is the huge difference? Because technically some things that are mate, I can use satin and doesn't even look that bad. So I just went with flat. So I needed that for some touch up. I am getting ready to make some homemade um, fudge brownies. I had the eggs sitting out overnight. Well, early this morning, I took them out at like 6 or 7. Um, so I'm going to be making some fudge brownies, which is why I got the ice cream. I love butter pecan, but Rizzy cannot eat nuts. So I try to stick to this or mint chocolate chip if we're doing ice creams that we all eat or vanilla. Okay, so I got some ground turkey. And the ground turkey is so much cheaper than the ground beef, which is very weird. If you know, tell me in the comments what's the deal with that. I got some soft tacos. Now... I'm going to be eating a taco salad, which is why I got tortillas. We always waste the head of lettuce, so I'm like, it's easier. I can rinse that. We're going to do that. They didn't have the cheese I wanted to shred, so I just bought shredded cheese, which I know I don't like doing, but got that. Got some sour cream, and we needed some more eggs, so I got some more eggs. I got some olives. I love olives on my um, tacos, and um, some diced tomatoes and chilies, and some refried beans. I don't feel like doing them. Y'all know I do my own. I usually do them in a crock pot. But this is a quick meal. Getting it out the way. Now, I'm doing this because I have to ask you guys a question. So, a guy comes up to me. as I'm, I was going to go on Ross to see if I can find um, this utensil that can clean out bottles that is thinner than the one I got. The one I got, I can't. They didn't have it at TJ Maxx. And this does not get in bottles. It's too thick. Like, I can't get it down in the head of a bottle, which I needed because I found my my uh, oil and vinegar bottle. One of them is already cleaned. I cleaned it very well and put the rest of the olive oil I had in it, right? But this particular one, I can't clean. It will not clean. And it, it just, I put bleach and Dawn in it, and I cannot get this in there so I can't clean this one that one I didn't have to get in there and clean I just kind of did the bleach rinse it a couple times and it came out perfect this right here I don't know why it's collaguating on in here and it's irritating me and it's a good bottle I don't want to get rid of it so I was trying to find something to clean it so as I'm coming out of there this guy asked me he said ma'am I thought he said four dollars but I think he said can I get a dollar to get some chips and I was like I don't have a dollar on me um but a lot of times they'll say that. Let me turn you. A lot of times, you know, they'll say that, but they have some ulterior motive with the money and they'll do something else, which I don't care. But I'm not going to say don't lie because they know if they tell the truth, if they were drinking or something, most people are like, yeah, I'm not going to do that. So I can get that. So this is my thing. So we go into, hold on one second. I hate talking down to the camera. So we go into the store and he goes and he picks up the most expensive chip in the store. It was like four bucks and all these, it was a Dorito. Um, then he was like, I said, is that all you want? You sure? You know, I, I don't mind. And he was like, and, and I'm not telling y'all this for any reason, but I just want to know. I felt some type of way and tell me what would y'all think? So they had a Dorito, which was all these brand. And they're pretty good. Um, and that was like $1.97. So I was going to grab them. He's like, no, no, no. I want these. I said, so I got those. Then I said, um, are you sure that's everything? He was like, yeah. So then he goes and he said, oh, oh, yeah. Can I get a Sprite? I said, do they have Sprite? He said, yeah. I said, okay, go grab you one. He comes back with a, a huge two liter of Coke. Then we get to... The register and I was like you didn't have a they didn't have a sprite he said no then we get to the register and he's like um hey can you get a gallon of milk for my little cousin or little nephew or something something and I was like yeah no I'm not gonna be able to do that sir I budget my food and my what I get every week or whatever I don't you know what I'm saying so I'm just like Ugh. 
I don't know if that's wrong or not. I was like, yeah, I'm not going to be able to do that. So then he said, yeah, because I get paid tomorrow, but I just needed something to hold me over for today. I said, well, why didn't you get a loaf of bread? That was like 80 something cent, a dollar. And then we could have got you some meat. They had a little package of meat for like two bucks. And then you still could have got you, I said, it's a smaller. I said, actually, they have Sprites right here that are small. We found some at the, the register. He's like, no, I'll just go this. I want a two liter. I was like, okay. And I was like, well, why would you, or if you're hungry, why don't you get something more filling? Because I would, somebody would have gave me $6. I would have got some lunch meat, some bread. Forget something to drink. I would have got some water from somewhere. Um, drinks would have been the last thing on my mind. And probably um, a lower end chip where I could have got a bag of chips and eat a sandwich at the same time. That's just my thinking. Um, so he was like, no, I just need this something I can put in my bag and carry with me and hold me over till tomorrow. And I was like, okay. That was it. So, I did tell him because I didn't want to do two transactions. I was like, hey, well, you can you follow me? And, and you know, I don't want to have to pay twice or get in the line twice. Can you just follow me around? And, um, uh, you know, while I get my stuff, he's like, I got nothing but time. And so, um, he, and he would not, and I don't think the color of his skin matters, but he wasn't um, African American. And so, people were looking at us weird because he was a Caucasian guy. And so he had a, I didn't notice until we got to the um, front of the line, but he, he had a very, 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 I can't even, strong odor. He had said, I'm going to go to the bathroom while I was in line. I said, okay, no problem. Um, and people were like walking past him, making faces, but he was walking with me through the store and everything, which I don't care. You know what I'm saying? I don't care. I don't judge nobody. We can always have a situation that put us somewhere, so I don't judge nobody. So... I felt kind of bad for him, but then when I, the, the people know me at the store, I was like, is this something he do? I wanted to make sure. They was like, he usually come in and buys what he wants. Um, um, I did see a couple people. The guy was like, I seen a couple people, you know, get him stuff, but you never know. I said, yeah, I don't know. I don't want to judge it. I'm going to let God handle that. And I was just, I don't know if because I be being so frugal about certain things, I felt some type of way that he wanted to grab the most expensive of everything. Um, and it wasn't economical according to the situation being that he's asking someone to help him tell me what you think in the comments because yeah i was like that's my oven ready for the brownies i was like okay sir i just spent six i think 688 um which is not a big deal but the fact that you you're asking someone for this help and then you don't want to stretch it that was my concern like I, if somebody gave me $6 to feed me and my kids, I'm getting a box of pasta, a package of rice. We're going to get some cans of beans because you don't have to have no meat. You get what I'm saying? Like, what? That's exactly what? We're going to be eating beans and rice for a couple of days. You know what I mean? Or cheese sandwiches. Or I mean, it's, it's even not cheese because cheese can be expensive. But I'm going to show you how to stretch that. We'll be having some butter, some fancy butter noodles, <laughs> you know, with some broccoli or whatever. If I can get broccoli on like 60, 70 cents or 80 something cents a bag. Oh, we are stretching. I'll make something big that we can eat for a couple of days. I can get us to, you know what? I think I'm going to start doing some videos where I take like real bare minimum and try to stretch it through the week. What y'all think about that? Talk to me in the comments. Okay, guys, let me get this stuff in the refrigerator to get these, uh, pancakes, get these brownies made. If you want the link to my fudge brownies, so the bomb. Let me know in the comments. Um, yeah, and that's about it. So let me do that. I got a uh, low drying. And I'm going to put this up, make these brownies, and then I got to go do a video of me doing my bed. So I'm waiting for the stuff to wash, and then, yeah, that's it. So if you're new to the channel, thank you for joining my family. I know it's a little bit different over here. You're not going to see no fancy uh, fancy person getting on here uh, with a whole bunch of going on. You know, the makeup, the lashes, and all that. I'm a homemaker, a mom. Literally, my focus is getting my house in order. I am a mom who is starting over in my 40s, and I have a fixer-upper that I'm trying to create the functionality I need because it's already a home, but I'm trying to create the functionality I need that works best for me, which is why today, I'm going to do another video, but today I took so much stuff back um, to Amazon because I was just, I just want, I don't want to live minimally. I don't want to live as a minimalist, but I want to minimize the things that I'm not using and I don't use on a consistent basis. I don't want stuff just because it looks cute. We just want in the kitchen and in the bathroom, things like that. So, um, you know, decor is different on a wall, but just to have that sitting there just because if it's on my counter, more than likely I'm using it. You know what I mean? Stuff like that. So, all right, guys. And uh, yeah, 
I love you guys. Talk to me in the comments. I definitely talk back. Tell me how you feel about the situation with the guy. Also, tell me about the video of me stretching something. Like, y'all give me some numbers and I'll try to stretch it and see. We might do some videos like that. All right. Later, get this.